Hello math learners! Welcome to another session here in Math Learning with Sir Ash. This is still your free access math teacher Ash and today we're going to discuss the second type of variation which is the inverse variation. Basically, the aim of this discussion will be illustrating inverse variation, translating statements, table of values, equations into an inverse variation and to solve the constants, unknowns, and apply it in the real life setting. But before anything else, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. Hello math learners! Welcome to another session here in Math Learning with Sir Ash. Today, we're going to discuss the most essential learning competency-based lesson for quarter 2 of the grade 9 mathematics which is all about the inverse variation. The question is, what is an inverse variation? From the word itself, inverse variation talks about the opposite of what is direct. We have already discussed the direct variation which is talking about the relationship when one quantity increases, the other one increases. However, in the inverse variation, we will be talking about opposite. Therefore, if one quantity increases, then the other quantity decreases. And if the other quantity decreases, well, its counterpart will increase. So, the first question is, how do we illustrate inverse variation? The mathematical statement for the inverse variation is y is equal to k over x where x and y are your two variables or your two quantities and your k is the constant of variation. Remember that among variations, there will always be a constant of variation and this is a fixed value because this will be the one making the changes uniform. All right. Okay, now how do we translate inverse variation? Inverse variation can be in the statements, table of values, and equation. Let's talk first about statements. For statements, what you need to consider and observe are the terms varies inversely. Okay, and somehow there are statements like inversely proportional. So that talks about um, inverse variation. Now, if we apply this statement to our given equation here, this is read as y varies inversely as x. Meaning, when your x increases, your y decreases. Or when your x decreases, then your y increases. Okay, now, for the next question, how do we translate if you have a table of values? Okay, math learners, we have here a table of values. This table of values talks about number of workers and the number of days they finish a certain job. Now, as you can see in the table of values, if there are two workers working on a job, they will finish it in 24 days. If there are four workers, they will finish it in 12 days. If there are six workers, they will finish it in eight days. And if there are eight workers, they will finish the job in six days. Now, what can you observe? Technically, as you can see, as the number of workers increases, then the job to finish it decreases, okay? Or the number of days to finish the job decreases. So this is an example of an inverse variation. Now, the question is, how do we solve for the constant of variation? Basically, if we consider that this will be our x and this will be our y, then we can say that y is inversely proportional to our x or the number of days is dependent on our number of workers and the relationship is inverse now if you want to solve for k basically you just need to derive the equation and what will happen is you just multiply x and y because this is a cross multiplication okay let's check whether this table of values represent an inverse variation how do we know they have a constant. Okay, so we just need to multiply our x and y. 2 times 24, the answer is 48. That will be your constant. 4 times 12, the answer is 48. 6 times 8, the answer is 48. 8 times 6, the answer is 48. Then there is a constant of variation, and that is 48. Thus, 
we can say that this table of values represent an inverse variation. Now, how do we get the equation of this table of values? Basically, since we already have our constant of variation, then we just need to substitute our k with the value of the constant. And that is y is equal to 48 over x. Or, shall we say, 48 is equal to x and y. And this will be the equation of your inverse variation. Easy, right? Okay, now let's try to translate certain statements and how we can translate them into an equation. Okay, math learners, we have here an activity on how to translate inverse variations. We have three examples. So the first is x is inversely proportional to y. The second is the force F to break a board varies inversely with the length L of the board. And the third is the time T to empty a tank varies inversely as the rate R of pumping. Okay, so basically, the variables are already given. Let's consider that our constant of variation is k. Okay, so for the first problem, we have x is inversely proportional to y. Since x is the first letter being given, therefore, we can say that x is equal to k over y. So that will be our translation for this given statement. Easy, right? Now, let us go to the second example. The force F to break a board varies inversely with the length of the board. So, F is equal to K over L. Okay. And that's it. And finally, we have the time T to empty a tank varies inversely as the rate of R of pumping. So, the time T is equal to K over R. And that is how simple to translate inverse variation. And now, let us go to solving inverse variations. Okay, math learners, we have here a problem. Y varies inversely as X. Y is equal to 3 when X is equal to 2. Find the constant of variation. Second, the equation of the variation. And third, what is Y when X is equal to 18? Now, the first thing you should do, my dear math learners, is to translate the statement. Y varies inversely as X. So, therefore, for our solution, first is we need to translate that into Y is equal to K over X. Or, if you solve for K, which is the first problem, that is K is equal to X times Y when you cross multiply. Clear? Okay. Now, let's try to solve the constant of variation by the use of the first given. So, we have k is equal to 2 times 3. And 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Therefore, for the first question, our answer is 6. Now, the question is, what is the equation of the variation? The equation of the variation is very simple. When you solve for the value of your k, you just need to substitute it into your statement. And that's it. So, for our equation, we just have y is equal to 6 over x. And that is your equation. And finally, we have what is y when your x is equal to 18. Since our equation is already given, we have here. Now, we just need to substitute our x with our new value of x. Okay? So, that is y is equal to 6 over 18. Question is, can you divide 6 by 18? Okay, you can. But you can get its lowest term and that is dividing 6 from both the numerator and denominator and you have the answer 1 third. Therefore, the value of your y is 1 third when your x is equal to 18. Easy, right? Now, let us go to our word problem. Okay, math learners, we have our final example and this is a word problem. So, it states that the length of time a bag of dog food lasts varies inversely with the number of dogs. If a bag of dog food will feed 3 dogs in 10 days, how long will it feed 5 dogs? So, basically, this is already an example of an inverse variation. Why? Because this is already, the statement is very clear, varies inversely. So, first, we just need to translate our given. So, the length will be represented by L. And this varies inversely as our 
number of dogs. So, let's say the number of dogs is n. Okay. Now, remember that in solving the k, we just need to cross multiply and that is n times l. Clear? So, now, what we need to do is to solve first for our constant operation. So, since k here has the formula, we just need to multiply 3 dogs, that is 3, times 10 days. So, um, in solving the k, we have k is equal to 30. So, our value for k is 30. Now, my dear math learners, you can use any letters as much as you want. You could use L, you could use T, you could use um, D for the dogs. It's up to you, my dear math learners. Okay? So, let's just be clear with that. Now, since we already found our k, we will now translate our formula and that is L is equal to 30 over N because our k here is 30. Okay, now let's solve it using the second given. How long will it feed 5 dogs? So dogs is our number of dogs here. So we just put L is equal to 30 over 5 and 30 divided by 5 is Six. Therefore, the number of days it will take the dog food to last to feed five dogs is six days. Okay? So, I hope you have a clear understanding about inverse variation. It's very easy, my dear math learners. And now, this is the time that I will challenge you whether you have understood our topic. And here it is. Okay, math learners, I hope you have a wonderful time in our brief discussion for today. This is still your free access math teacher, Ash. And if you do have questions, inquiries, and confusion about our topic or misunderstanding, just put your inquiries in our comment section below. Hope you can share this to your friends, classmates, and schoolmates. And teachers, parents, I hope that this video can also help you in teaching your students. Always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you so much, God bless, and keep safe always. Congratulations, math learners, for arriving to this part of the video. If you think that this video has helped you, click that like button. And if you think that this channel can change the way you see mathematics, do not forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you.